This is Washington Watch. I'm Tony Perkins, your host. So good to have you with us. Check out the website, TonyPerkins.com. Lots of resources there for you, as well as, as well as archived programs of Washington Watch. If you miss anything on your way home, you can catch it all there later. Also, to stay connected with us, text the word STAND to 67742. That's 67742. You know, in this cancel culture where they're pulling plugs, now I'm very confident on the Christian radio, we're going to be here. Uh, but in other sources, if you're getting information from us via Facebook or t- Twitter, uh, go to TonyPerkins.com, sign up for my update, or text the word STAND to 67742. All right. Um, you know, a lot of folks are saying, what can we do? I mean, look, I, I, a lot of folks disappointed, discouraged, disheartened because of what Mike Lindell was just talking about, questions about the election, irregularities. Will my vote really count? Hey, don't throw in the towel. Roll up your sleeves. Here to talk about that, Dr. Mark Harris. He heads up the FRC Community Impact Program. Dr. Harris, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you. It's great to be with you this evening, Tony. Let's talk a little bit, uh, Mark, how people can roll up their sleeves and make a difference and not not give up hope. Well, I think you're spot on. This this is the very time that uh, we have to really organize in order to be mobilized to make the difference. You know, oftentimes we come within six weeks or even six months of an election, and then we decide we're all going to get engaged and get involved. And by then, it's almost too late. This is the perfect time for somebody that uh, say, hey, it's time for me to make plans now to step up and, and get a community impact team going in your church it's time to pull some friends together and say, hey, what can we do? And uh, we've got the resources available for them. Simply, if they'll go to the website that we've got, communityimpact.frc.org, they can go there and find training videos. They can find other resources just to help get started. And um, it's incredible what they can do during this time to get ready for the next battle. I'm going to go back to that point where, this, that has been the history where, oh, and we got an election coming up. we we got to do right. something. Yep. This, is about, this is about a way of life. Yes. I mean, as, as believers, especially in this increasingly hostile, anti-biblical culture that is constantly pushing out stuff that, well, I mean, it, it, it is causing the culture to deteriorate. It is morally... Uh, taking us down a uh, 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 into the abyss. Exactly. We have to be constantly vigilant and present all the time. It's not no longer did, did the Minutemen model work where we run to the battle and we go back to what we're doing. This has to be a part of who we are. That's right. And if we're organized and we're constantly focused on those things that we do with community impact teams, such as being informed and keeping our folks informed and keeping them equipped and keeping them alerted and keeping them mobilized. Those are things that go on year round, every year. For all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. And no, I, mean, I mean, it's not just elections. This is no, all kinds of it's stuff. for all kinds of things that are happening. Listen, when a disaster strikes your community, it's time to mobilize and alert people to what's going on in a community. And we've seen that happen time and again, where the uh, the CIT, the Community Impact Team, were the first ones there to help in a disaster relief effort that might be taking place in a community. So there's all kind of ways that you minister in the community, but indeed election time, it, it's important because we've got people now that are looking at school board, they're looking at county commission races, they're looking at state legislative races. Listen, we look at all of these things that have happened nationally, and all of us are, listen, in many ways heartbroken and concerned for what we have seen take place. But as you've said time and again, it is now a time to roll up our sleeves, go to work, and realize all politics is local for that matter. And we've got to realize that if we can get engaged, find folks within our own community, within our own church, that are willing to run for office, that are willing to take that spot on the school board, that's the way we're going to really and truly change our community, one position, one leadership role at a time. And, and then we have to, to be present in the community. I mean, you've seen this both as a pastor 
uh, as the uh, the pastor of First Baptist Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. But you've seen it outside the church, you know, whether it's uh, an issue coming up before the school board or the city council, you know, the the church and and by extension here the using the community impact teams they're really the conscience of the community keeping an alert and then advising and warning the the concerned citizens what's happening to mobilize them so they can turn out and make a difference in these policies that's exactly right because if listen those folks that are elected to those positions in november have to have someone that's going to keep them accountable, somebody that's going to report back. Because folks go on with their day-to-day life. I mean, there are sports activities to attend for your children. There's PTA groups to go to. There's different activities at church and, and in the community that families are involved in. So how can people find out more about the Community Impact Teams? Let me urge them to go to the website, communityimpact.frc.org. If they'll go to the toolbar, it'll give them a place where they can click on resources. And there'll be a number of resources there. One of them are the training videos. And we've got a whole set there they can be involved in. All right, folks, if you missed that, just go to TonyPerkins.com. We'll have a link for you there. Dr. Mark Harris, thanks so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.